Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Fire Workout. This is day nine of your next level November challenge. We're gonna be getting it all in using a set of dumbbells. If you have a couple options, keep them close by. We're gonna get strength, we're gonna get cardio, and of course, we're gonna bring the fire. As always, I will give you lots of options. Listen to your body, work to your level. We're just here to get moving. All you need for this workout are your dumbbells and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start with a dynamic warm up. So just start moving your feet, either a march or a jog, and just some rolls through the shoulders as we get everything warmed up and ready to go. Take it to the back and then take it to the front. <sighs> Breathing through it. One big deep breath in. We're gonna keep this warm up short. So, of course, if you need more of a warm up, get it on your own. You can check out the links in the description below to check out my extended warm up and extended cool down videos. Those are great active recovery videos as well, but they're about 10 minutes long if you need a little extra. Let's open up those arms here and step out and into that side lunge. So we are bringing the fire with our dumbbells today. Maybe you have done my total body fire or full body fire. Those are with weights workouts where we have dumbbells or kettlebells. We're gonna be focused just on our dumbbells today. But of course, it's all, if all you have is a kettlebell or water bottles or soup cans or whatever it is you're using, that works too. Reach it all the way down. So that hinge to the front of the legs. And then if you're able, walk it out to that inchworm to get the core fired up and ready to go. And also warm up through the back. You can also do this dropping down to the knees. Still getting that core engaged if that is right for you. As always with this workout, as well as all my others, I'm gonna give you options to work to your level. Stay here if you can. Hinge back to that down dog, tap that knee, bring it back. Tap that knee, bring it back. One more each side, lifting up in that core. And then walk it back. So roll those shoulders back, tap back, open up in that hip. Reach those arms straight up overhead. If you're able, drop a little more in that lunge. And then let's hold it here. Little stretch over to the side. If you're able, drop that hand down, reach that hand up, drop that knee, three, two, opening up the hips, then step through, same thing, other side, take it back, little stretch over, keep it here or drop it down, reach up, three, two, one, let's do that one more time each way, you can stay up or down, whatever is good for you, then we're going to get ready to jump right in with the fire. So if you have done my total body fire, full body fire with weights, similar format, we will have three back to back rounds of 30 seconds. Bring it up, roll it up, tap and reach across. First 30 seconds is our base level. That's our strength round. Second 30 seconds, we're going to bring some power with it. Third 30 seconds, that's where we bring the fire. That's our fire round. So that each level challenges your intensity, may bring it up a little higher impact. However, what we're doing today that's a little different is that fire round is going to involve your dumbbell. So it's a higher intensity version of the move that you've been doing. So you can always stay with your base level, your strength level, or your power level. Cross it right here. And again, I'll give you lots of different options. And we're gonna be working with only one dumbbell the entire time. So a lot of things will be alternating or all on the right, all on the left. All right, go ahead and grab one dumbbell. I'm gonna go with something heavy. I've got my 10 here. We're gonna start with just a basic lunge. I want you to step it back and drop it down. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go, all on one side. Drop it down, press it up. So once we get through these three rounds we have a quick 30 second break you're going to need it after that fire round that's where i'll talk you through what's coming up next but again a lot of these will have right side left side starting with this 
Of course, if you need to modify, just tap it back, bring it up. What we're gonna add is a little press. So one hand, if you can, take it here. We're gonna lunge it down, press it up. All on the same side, stepping back, stepping in. So a little power from the legs, from the arms. If that's too heavy, take it between two hands. Bring it up, or again, you can just tap it back, tap it up, get low. We're bringing the fire in just a few seconds where we are gonna take it between two hands, but we're gonna pick our, our pace in three, two, one, right here. Down, up, breathe. So a little quicker, but still good form. Here to here, two hands if you want it. Breathe, up. Low to high, 10 seconds to go. Drive up through the heel, press up through the arms. Four, three, two, last one right here. Yes, catch your breath. Tap it out. And we're gonna take all of that on the other side. So we kinda had to jump into that one quickly, but you know what to do. Breathe for just a second. We've got our regular lunge here. We've got our slow lunge and press. Really take your time to get into it, get good form. Then two hands are one, you have your quick fire round. So strength, power, fire. Zip up that core, breathe, drop it down. Here we go, lunge and up. So we've got the weight on one side, it's a little bit offset. I want you to really think about that core, not letting that weight pull us to the side. A lot of what we're doing today, we're gonna have it on one side, and that core has to work extra hard, right? To really pull everything in. Yes. Again, tap back to modify if you need to or don't get as low, whatever's best for you. Let's add that press. Ready, here we go. So lunge it down, press it up. I want you to keep it slow and controlled. Elbow in, core engage. Again, if you need two hands, that works too and breathe, down and up, two hands are one. You can even have that hand out for a little extra balance if you need it. Get ready for the fire in three, two, one. It's quicker, but still control. Down and up, down and up. Two hands if you want it, low to high. Fire, so you're bringing the intensity by driving up through the heels, pushing up with the arms, whether that's two or one, I just want a little more intention there. You can do it, 10 seconds. How's that heart rate, right? Breathe, three, two, one, relax. Quick sip of water if you need it, hang on to that dumbbell. Catch your breath, guys. Mm. I do have some new dumbbells, so check out the link in the description. I have a discount code for these. They're the Hex, they're pretty great. All right, one heavy dumbbell. We're starting either on your knees. Here's your modification. Knees the whole time with that row or all the way up into that plank. Join me here in three, two, one. Here we go. So I'm not gonna lie, guys. We have three straight rounds alternating, so not just one side on that plank, in that plank. So if you need a little breather, drop those knees, give your wrists a break, but we're gonna try to get through it back to back to back. We're gonna add some power with a knee, and then we're gonna separate our fire 15 seconds each side. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Watch me here. Opposite knee drops, back to center. Opposite knee drops, back to center. Here, if you're modifying, you can just take that knee out instead of in. <sighs> On your knees, pull it up. You're still gonna have to work through that balance. It's still gonna be challenging, but if you can, knee drop and row. Knee drop and row. <sighs> Breathe. Three, two, one. All on one side. Watch me here, team. Pull it in. Drop it down. Pull it in. Drop it down. You got your power. <sighs> and breathe. You're fire. I know it's a lot of balance, but you can do it. If that feels like too much, just keep it on one side. Fire. Switch your sides right here. Knee and row. 
lots of core, but you can do it strong with your back, strong in your core. Again, if that's too much, just drop the knee on the side. Three, two, one, relax, ha, huh. right? I'm sweating, you guys, whoo! Breathe, back up onto your feet, whoo! Catch your breath. We're going into a curl. So we're gonna start with a bicep curl. So we're here, one side and down, you're curling it in. Then for our power round, we're gonna curl into a squat. Then we're going to add a snatch as our fire. Are you ready? Just your curl, bring it up. So on this, I know it's just one side. Try to go heavy if you can, because we're isolating one side. Core is engaged, not letting it pull you. We're over correcting. Strong in your arms. I know those biceps were just working on that row too. Well, you can do it. Take it up. Did I mention this is a no repeat workout? Once we're done with it, we're done with it. Let's add a squat right here. So curl, squat, and down. Curl. You can think of it as a clean if you want. Hup, but it's one side. Hup, that clean is a little hip action to power it up, right? Again, this handout might just help keep you balanced. Yes, bring it up. All right, team, we're gonna alternate our snatch. You can keep it just right here, or you're here, all the way up and down. All the way up and down. Watch me on this snatch. You're pulling it up and through. Fire, keep it going. Hup, and down. That snatch comes right up close to your body. Little power from the hips to bring it up. You're alternating, you're alternating. You can do that high pull as well. It's another modification. Keep breathing for three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, team, we're gonna do it all around on the other side. We're gonna start with just that curl. We're gonna go curl or clean with that squat, and then we alternate with our snatch. While we have a few seconds, reminder on the snatch, you hinge to get it, power it up and through. Hinge, power it up and through. Modification would be to just keep that clean or that curl, or again, high pull, down, high pull. Starting with that curl, here we go. Right here, up and down. You got the time. Really use it to breathe. This is a quick workout. We're gonna get it done. We're bringing the fire. Breathe. Again, in those previous fire videos that are lots of fun, you should do them. We often add really high impact with no weight. Now we're adding the fire with the weight. One side to really make it work hard. Let's add that curl in three, two. No, that squat. Here we go. Curl, squat, arm out for balance if you want it. Curl. Squat, clean it if you want. Clean, squat, breathe, Hup. Yes, team, breathe, there we go. Get ready, we got five more seconds of this, then we're alternating our snatch to bring the fire. Ready, drop it down, here we go. Snatch it, bring it up, fire. Bring it up. If you've never done a snatch, it is a challenging move. Just keep that high pull. You can still get the power in the fire. High pull. And down. High pull. Or a snatch. And breathe. Yes. Five seconds to go. Breathe. Then we're down on the mat. Three, two, one. Relax. Catch your breath. Yes, team. Woo, we are getting it done fast. Tap it out. Woo. All right, let's take it down. A little bit of core. Ha, 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 right? All right, team, so it is a chest fly. It's going to be one-sided. We're gonna start with our legs up in a bridge. One side, that fly comes out, fly comes in. Join me here, take it out, squeeze it in. Take it out and in. So we're keeping everything lifted in that bridge. So we keep the core engaged. We keep the glutes and hamstrings working. And then that weight is pulling you down. So you have to stabilize, right? 
and breathe. We're gonna add a one-legged bridge as we add that power. So take that opposite leg out, watch me here. In and out, lifting the hips, ready? Here we go, power up and down. Lift the hips in that one-sided bridge. Whew. If that feels like too much or you're cramping, I want you to lift with both hips. That works too. Bring it up and down, up and down. Whew. Five seconds, then we're putting the dumbbell between two hands. Three, two, one. You're gonna take it. Scissors press, scissors press. If you're modifying two hands press with a bridge, but if you can, up up breathe if you want more of that core challenge start the feet down low if you need to keep them up higher it is your fire round but i want you to stay controlled in that core pull those hips together ribs together five four three two one bring it up a little stretch all right team i want you to come up onto your feet stretch those those hamstrings right stretch out those arms we're going to do all of that on the other side so again, we're holding the bridge, alternate with our fly. We add that opposite leg with the fly, so lots of core, lots of hamstrings. And then we take it to a press with scissors. So press, close grip press to get the back of the arms, and then lots of core. Ready, lift up in that bridge. Here we go, just your upper. Core is engaged. Well, just your upper is moving, I should say. If that's too heavy for you, Again, just take a, a press. You can do a one-sided press or two hands. That works too. But if you can, you're taking it out with the fly. So we feel that stretch, right? Keep the hips up, keep the glutes working and hamstrings and core. Take that opposite leg down. Watch me here, everything in and out. So you're pressing up through the leg on the floor and then lift it lower with that opposite leg as you go out with the fly. We did a move recently with one leg and one sided press. Everybody seemed to love it, so we're gonna do more of that. 10 seconds. Feel the back of the leg. Remember, you can always go two sided bridge, two feet if you need to. Three, two, dumbbell between two hands, scissors, press. Fire in that core. Modification is just the bridge. Keep those hamstrings working. Elbows are coming up. We're going between two hands so we can really have that fire in our chest and our triceps and our shoulders. Again, keep those legs low for more of that core burn. Take them a little higher if you need to. Three, two, one. Yes, stretch. Oh. All right, team, stretch it out right here, right? Bring it up. I think after that, we need a little cardio mobility. So no weights. Whoo, shake it out. Just right. Love this toy soldier kick to stretch out those hamstrings after we just work them, but also big arms. So we stretch it out right here. All right, guys, so consider this your active recovery. We're gonna take about a minute. Then we have two more rounds. We're gonna get a side lunge with a chop, then with a shuffle. Then we're gonna get a side plank. So, big stretch right here. And then I'm gonna talk you through it. So you keep going right here. I want you to get that cardio mobility, that active recovery, because we've been blowing through it, right? We're moving fast. Watch me here. You got your side lunge. We're gonna start stationary. To the side, push out of it. Cross towards the opposite with that leg. Then we're stepping into it with a chop. So towards the hips, chop it up. Towards the hips, chop it up. Then we're gonna go alternating side lunge with our shuffle. You can move the dumbbell if you want or you can keep it stationary. All right, grab that weight. Starting nice and wide, we're crossing here. Push out of the hip. Here we go. One side, press out of it. This is your strength. So drive into it, hips to the back. See if you can go heavier on this. Normally you can, you're strong. Hips go back, chest stays open. Not here, but here. 
and breathe. Got my 15s. Three seconds. Bring that dumbbell up, step into it. So side lunge, chop. Side lunge, chop. You can almost think of it as a press through towards the hip and then press up. You don't have to actually chop all the way through. It's a little crazy to come out of the side lunge, but towards the hip, press up in the shoulder. Towards the hip, press up in the shoulder. And up, yes! Five seconds, I know that heart is pumping. Let's bring the fire, watch me here. So, side lunge, shuffle, side lunge, shuffle. Breathe, if you wanna take it low, you can. Little curl, down, shuffle through. If that's pulling in your back, keep it right here. Notice, you do not have to go super fast to feel it. I just want you to get low. You can also take the weight out if you need to. Breathe, hip to hip, right? Three, two, one, breathe. Ah. Catch your breath. We're gonna do all of that on the other side. So with our weight, stationary side lunge. Drive the hip back, then step into it. Little chop, remember your chop is not really your traditional chop, but more towards your hip. Press up and through. Then that side lunge shuffle with or without the weight. Grab that weight, three, two, one, strength. Lean into it, press up, lean into it, press up. Keeping that chest open, so I'm not rounding in that back. I'm driving my hips back, shifting the weight to the side. That's a big part of that lateral lunge. I want you to get low, but more than that, I want you to shift that weight. So it's not just here, right? It's a weight shift, yes. Get ready, bring it center, add that chop, step into it. Step in, twist, press up, twist. Side lunge, chop. Whoo, this 15 is heavy, but you can do it. Whatever you're working with is right for you. Push yourself. We got fire round after this, then down on the mat. Yes, breathe. Whoo, good. Three, two, hold it center. It's a shuffle. Step in, shuffle. Step out, shuffle. Not super fast. You want dumbbell low to high. Breathe. Or also, if you'd rather get more of the cardio, you can take it no weight. You've got 10 seconds. Fire. Woo! Breathe. Three, two, one. Catch your breath, yes. Water, down on your side, team. Woo! Down with one weight. Something in that medium range. Right? I'm gonna go with my 10. That's what I got. All right, team. I'm gonna adjust my air. We're gonna start with just a side plank. We're gonna add a little lift with a row, with or without the weight. Go ahead, come on your side, line up that shoulder, lift it up and hold strength. So we're here. Drop that knee if you need to, all the way up if you can. If you wanna stack those feet, you can. I find it a little easier to cross one leg, even if that knee's down. As long as I'm not leaning forward and keep my hips square, that helps me stay a little more balanced, so it's up to you. So you may need to adjust that elbow in or out, whatever you think, breathe into it. Right? And then watch me here. We're gonna drop it down, bring it up and row. Join me, 30 seconds, down and row. If you'd rather do this without the weight, that works too. But I want you to pull that elbow up strong, drop it down, bring it up. Drop it down, bring it up. Remember, you can always stay with the base level. I know it's a long time to be doing that side plank, but you can do it. We're gonna add a little twist into that front plank in three, two, watch me here. Take it up, drop it down here, up. Turn it in, back. If you need to stay on that knee, stay on that knee. If you need to stay just in the side plank, if that's not right for you, stay in the side plank. Take it up, and here. 
Yes, 10 seconds, I know. Three, two, one. Relax, ah, oh, stretch, right. Woo. Sit into those hips. Woo. Let's take it to that other side, so shake that out. All right, you know what you're doing. Side plank hold. Side plank with the row, with or without the weight. Then we add that little turn in. So we're staying up in that side plank. We turn in for the core. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Yes, you can. In three, two, up. Here we go. First one's just a hold, so use this time to perfect your form. If you need that knee, if that's gonna help you where you are, go for it. If you need this hand down, totally fine. Just try not to lean over into it. Keep that chest open. Keep that core zipped. Everything pulled in. This is safe for everybody as long as you can maintain that good core control. We're gonna keep it here. Then we're adding that row. Watch me here. Bring it up. Drop it down. I'm dropping my hips in between. Join me here. 30 seconds. Bring it up. Drop it down. Bring it up. Drop it down. So that elbow is just coming right by my side and down. Yes. Up and down. Woo. Breathe. Yes. Good work, team. Yeah. Good. Three. Two. Good. We're going to rotate it in. So up, turn, center. Row, turn, center. If you need to, stay on that knee. I know that shoulder's feeling it, but you can finish strong these last 15 seconds. Lots of obliques, lots of core. We are so close. Let's get it done. Breathe. Take it up. Turn. Take it up. Turn. Three, two, one. Relax, stretch it over team, yes. Ha, breathe, little stretch. Ooh, how do we feel? I know, I know, right? I think we did it, right? <laughs> no bonus move today, we get enough of that in other workouts. Let's take those knees out, let's get a little stretch. So fast and furious, right? We get it done quick, we have those three rounds. I know these workouts that move so quickly, it's a, a lot of brain work too. <sighs> Don't stress about that. Just move your body. If something doesn't feel like you have enough time to get good form, then you stick with that base level. That's why we do it. That's why we've had a lot of workouts recently where we build, start low impact, increase our intensity, increase our impact, or start base level, make it a compound, add some power. All of that is so you always have options, right? We are all in different places on our journey. And if you showed up today, you are successful. Remember that. I really want to give you that good stretch because those shoulders are feeling it right after those side planks. Let's go other side. I always want you to push yourself and challenge yourself in a way that is good for you. But I want you to be where you are today. That might look different day to day. Let's get a little stretch here. It's gonna look different for everybody depending on where you are in your journey. Other side. And also, what kind of day you're having, right? Sometimes we're extra tired and we just need to move our bodies. Sometimes we have extra energy and we're really feeling good and we wanna really get that challenge. Let's bring it up, roll it through, cat to cow. It's gonna be different day to day. And I want you to honor your body. Honor your journey. You are here and you are worth it. So, whatever your brain is telling you right now, if it's not positive, change it. You did it, you did it, you are strong, you are capable, roll back onto your feet, and you are here. Oh, let that shake out, pedal those feet. Repeat after me, I am strong, I am capable, and I am here. Slowly roll it up. Yes, team, shake that out. Oh, thank you so much for being here today. Please let me know in the comments if you liked this workout. If you wanna see more workouts with this type of format or more dumbbells or this with other equipment, reach it up, take it over. Ah. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe to my channel, that helps me keep making 
free workouts for you here on YouTube. It helps us grow the community. And as always, I always appreciate your feedback. Even if I don't get to answer them all, I do read them all. So please know that little stretch right here. And of course, if you're looking to really take it to the next level, join us over in the Body Fit Athletic Club for extra support and accountability for access and guidance for your personal journey from me, from Vivian, our Body Fit Dietitian, to get a nutrition plan and to really dive deep into everything, fitness, nutrition, motivation, accountability, health, wellness, all of it. Take it here, big stretch, big stretch. Oh, roll those shoulders. Thank you for showing up today. Show up, keep moving, that is the name of the game. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell fire workouts. Great job, everybody.